Ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to the light heavyweights. And now making his way to the glory ring. He has tested his stand-up skills in both the ring and the cage. Set to make his glory debut, here comes Carlos Brooks! Shake and Bake Brooks out of the Big Apple. Trains at the venerable boxing gym Gleason's in Brooklyn. My uh, other broadcast partner in boxing, Polly Malinaji, spent some time there. This man began his glory career with a thunderous knockout of Pat Barry in Glory 16 Denver. Please welcome Zach Morkasa. Zach Murkasa in deep thought, sporting the, the garb of the Black Warrior. He's no longer Zach Murkasa, he tells us. When he makes that walk to the ring, he becomes the Black Warrior. What a story. It's time for action in the Glory Light Heavyweight Division. Knockout artist Zach Mwakasa, representing the Democratic Republic of Congo, taking on glory newcomer Carlos Brooks of the United States. And Brooks enjoying a height and reach advantage. Got to stay on the outside. I don't think this is a punching game for Brooks. I think it's a kicking game. Zach has power beyond reason in his hands. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this mount scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. His striking abilities have been widely showcased. His kickboxing record, nine wins with just one loss. Seven of those nine wins coming by knockout. At six feet three inches tall, 1.91 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 208 pounds, 94.3 kilos. Fighting out of New York City, USA, please welcome Carlos Shank and Big Brooks. His opponent fights from the white side of the ring, a former WBF heavyweight boxing champion, ranked number four in the Glory World Rankings. His record, 12 wins with two losses, 11 of 12 wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at 209 pounds, 94.9 kilos. Representing the Democratic Republic of Congo, ladies and gentlemen, Zach the Black Warrior. Mukasa! And your referee in charge of the glory ring, Pablo de Costa. Protection, yeah, you are, yeah. Fight. Touch. Corner. Set for three three minute rounds of the glory light heavyweight division. The karate stylist Brooks. Fight. Fight. The boxing prowess of Zach Mukasa, our good friend Crooklyn from Bloody Elbow refers to him as the most interesting man in combat sports. She's onto something, a guy who has survived a volcano eruption, venomous snake bites, being shot at. I mean, this guy has lived enough of a life to not only option his script, Frank, because I know you're a producer as well, but many sequels thereafter. We'll talk to him. <laughs> and now looking to author a memorable career in kickboxing, made it to the final of the light heavyweight contender tournament, but one of the Achilles heel in his repertoire remains kicks. He's trained with the late K-1 veteran Mike Bernardo, but all of his power are in his hands. Although yeah. he's working on his kicking, he, he was the victim of a head kick from Cavallari, which stopped him in the tournament final. Cavallari now has designs on challenging for the Glory Light Heavyweight title, currently around the waist of Gokan Saki. Brooks is sitting down nicely on that jab and holding him at bay. This is exactly the game he needs to play, and then add the spin kicks and the inside-out kicks. Brooks, a 
veteran of Chuck Norris's World Combat League. Uh -oh. Nice combination, right hand of the body, left hook upstairs by Moikasa, and there's that stiff jab. It's almost a power shot. Oh, uh, he is doubled up on that jab, just uh, in power. Brooks was born and raised in the Dominican Republic, where he started training in Taekwondo at the age of 14. Uh -oh. Hasn't fought since April of last year, and he's also an inspiring story. He weighed 340 pounds when he was 23. He felt the weight of that there. shot as he was backed up to the ropes, and he's being Two. administered an eight count. Three, four, five, six. The referee determined seven, that the ropes held eight, him up as okay. he was sent backwards five. with the thunderous left hand, and there's that left hook that rattles the jaw. Of Brooks once again, but a yeah. guy who weighed 340 pounds, and there he feels all of the weight of Zach Lacasa's power, and the Black Warrior records another devastating knockout in the glory ring. The Black Warrior makes short work of Carlos Shake and Bake Brooks. He was shaking and baking, but not in the uh, fashion he would have liked, Frank. No, he was not. He had a good game going, though. And you know what he did? He started dropping that right hand when he was throwing that jab. He started getting a little bit soft on it. And uh, Zach picked it right up, came right over the top of it a couple times. That was it. Mikasa didn't give me an opportunity to, to finish telling Brooks' story. I would like to put a button on it by saying, you know, he weighed 340 pounds when he was 23, started training at Tiger Schulman's, and he wants to inspire people to get in shape. Said he was the quintessential sofa spud. Well, there's the quintessential power stud in Zach Mukasa. Let's take a look at what happened to Brooks. It was that left hook. That right hand got way too low. And, and Mukasa smelled it. Mukasa improves to three and one in glory. All three wins are brought to you by the letters K.O. So Mikasa returns to winning form. And you have to wonder, the state of the light heavyweight division, of course, with Gokan Saki, the current champion, but his career in glory and flux, they're still trying to negotiate to get him back. Brooks, meanwhile, not the debut he was looking for. Big crowd on hand, have to be enjoying what they have seen thus far, glory 22. You know, we, the promotion prides itself on saying we stand up and strike or stand up and fight, 100% striking. And the, the finishes we've seen thus far have been amazing. It gets better and better, my man. It gets better and better. Bodies be dropping. So McCassin now three and one. I'm sure he has designs on trying to avenge the loss to Salo Cavallari. Made a memorable debut with a thunderous left uppercut KO of UFC veteran Pat Barry. That was the event that also produced Raymond Daniels' dazzling kick of the century. The 360-degree two-hit spin kick knockout win over Francois Ambang. In its short history, the 22nd event, think about the, the, the catalog of knockouts that Glory's oh, yeah. already produced. Made for the social media age, my friend. It's made for TV. This is the best TV sport I've ever seen. And Zach Mokasa now standing in solitude. What a life he has lived. 30 years of age and an accomplished family at that. From Congo, they escaped to South Africa. He's a computer engineer. His brothers are lawyers. His dad is a pharmacist. He's a walking reality show.
The Pierre Morois Stadium in Lille, France has played host to a smorgasbord of fantastic finishes thus far at Glory 22. As we revisit the oh. power of Mikasa. And just perfectly placed left hooks right on the button, right on the temple. He found his spot and he went after it. Brooks just rattled, each one rattled. No recovery. Here in France, that left hook was the coup de grace for another impressive win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 1 minute 58 seconds of that very first round. This one comes to an end by knockout. For your winner, Zach Murkasa. He remains a knockout machine. Impressive victory for Zach Mwikasa. The Black Warrior returns in fine form. Yes. Let's this fight go on. Can Francois Ambang? Oh, what a shot!